Hiya YouTube, how's it going? Back again, another video. Today I am going to do something that I never thought would actually happen to me, but I'm going to do a product review. Now, obviously this is a bit weird to me because I didn't expect this YouTube channel to do as well as it has. And I also didn't never expect to be sent anything and asked to review it, but let's just make it clear. Um, I was approached via email uh, by a company, um, the owner of the company or the manager who said that they'd found my videos and that they have some products that they'd like me to try and would I be interested in reviewing one of them. So of course I said yes and I was highly honoured so I, I just want to say a big thank you to that company and what uh, they've sent me is a USB flash drive, a 64 gigabyte USB flash drive which you can use on your phone, iPad, computer, and so on. So I thought what I would do is I would do a little review on there. I have been using it. I did try and get this sticker off on the back so I could show you like, the compatibility stuff, but I couldn't get it off. But let's just show you what we've got in here. So I'll put it back in the box just for the video. <laughs> uh, so it comes with a user manual and it comes into a um, plastic thing to hold it into place. Forgive my um, reviewing skills aren't that good yet. But the first thing I notice is what good quality it feels like. It's quite, it's got quite a bit of weight to it really for what it is. And you know, it just feels high quality. Obviously you can turn it around like this and it snaps into place like that but it just feels you know it feels good quality for what it is you can see that on the one side we have like a standard usb um usb port thing and then if you lift that up you've got a lightning cable adapter thing there so for your iphone or your ipad why is it blurry and then on the other side, you have a USB-C adapter for your Android or if you've got the, the latest iPad or whatever. I must say I'm quite impressed. It's not something I thought that I would need or something that I would go out and buy myself. But now I have it, I think it's brilliant. And, and I'm glad that um, this company, I think you pronounce it Z-Moon. Um, I'm so glad that you sent it to me because it's so useful. Let's just have a look then at what we've got. So here is the manual then for this USB flash drive to work you have to install the app here which is free on the app store and then that's how you transfer files between your device and the usb stick on the other side it just goes on about managing the files and stuff and frequently asked questions so let's have a look then here we have then my old ipad air 2 which has a uh, lightning adapter I don't know if you can see that there right, anyway it's a lightning adapter so on my USB stick I'm gonna have to lift the flap up which I've done there and then I can plug this into the iPad at the bottom like that now you can see straight away it comes up here to say that the app for this device isn't installed so that's useful and um, we can go over to the App Store <coughs> Just while it's downloading, when you go to the Files app, there's no option on here to say that there is a USB device on here. So obviously we have to wait for this app to download first. And then once this app has downloaded, there you go. Once the app has downloaded, it makes our device easy to use. So. Of course you've got it here whether you want it to allow to send notifications and then you've got some different options on here so we have that the internal storage is 1.8 gigabytes 
and the external storage on the USB stick is 58.2 gigabytes. And you can browse here <coughs> the files on your flash drive or on your iPad. Now, obviously, I don't use this iPad as often, uh, actually, because the storage isn't that good. If I chose a video here, Hello. this is one from one of my early videos, but you can see I've got an option to play the video if I want to, or um, I can I can actually copy it to the device, and I do it by clicking on multi-select and then clicking on the video, and then down here I have an option of copy to, and then I can copy it to the external storage at the top. Um, and if I click on paste, it's transferring the movie from the iPad to the external flash drive. You can exit the app um, and then go back to it and it still copies. This video I've chosen is actually 34 minutes long. So considering that's a 34 minute video, that's transferring quite quickly. And considering you can exit the app and browse on your iPad, I'd say that was pretty cool. It also does say on the box here that it is compatible for music, video, photo, contacts. And you can also use it with a password and with Touch ID. On the back there you can see the devices it's compatible with and also the file formats. Like I say, that sticker wouldn't come off there. But you can see it's compatible with most things anyway. We're just nearing the end then of this being transferred and you can see there it's transfer completed now. If I go at the bottom onto the flash drive, I can see the file there is on the actual flash drive now. So I, you can see there it's 2.57 gigabytes. Um, that's quite a big file really. And you can see down here, Hello. 34 oh, minutes long. So that transferred pretty quickly, only a couple of minutes. I have just connected the USB flash drive to my iPad. My other iPad. This is an iPad Pro 11 inch. It's one of the recent ones. Um, I believe it's the 2019 model. Um, and as you can see, it's not recognising the flash drive here. And I've tried unplugging it and plugging it back in a few times. But it doesn't seem to be recognising it for some reason. I don't know why. I've also tried restarting the iPad, but that doesn't seem to help either. Um, which is a shame, really. It doesn't say, though, on the back that it is compatible with this kind of iPad. So this is an iPad Pro 11-inch. It just says here, iPad Pro and Pro 2. So maybe it's not compatible with this particular model yet. That is something to bear in mind, then, if you do have a recent iPad or iPhone. Just make sure that it's compatible uh, before you buy it. If I plug this lovely device into my Mac, this is a MacBook Pro from around 2015. It's actually the MacBook that has that issue with the screen. As you can see, the screen is just it's all like peeling away or something. I don't know. I need to get that fixed. But it's not under warranty, I should say. But you can see on there, on the USB stick, the video that I put on there earlier from the iPad Air 2. And you can see there as well, it was quite a big file. 2.76 gigabytes. If we switch over then to my iPhone instead, again, this is an iPhone 6S Plus. Um, so I've using the lightning port this end again. So I had to lift that up to get to it. Um, and you can see on here that there is no option without the app installed. So let's just go ahead and install that app. Uh, 
Now we've got the app installed then, we can see on here it's working perfectly fine. We can see that the internal storage of my phone, I have 2.4 gigabytes left. And on the flash drive, I have 55.6 gigabytes left. And you can see again, we've got various options. In the settings here, if we go on app encryption, you can choose there whether you want to start Touch ID or set a password for the app. But that's not something that I'm going to do. Um, if I go to photos and I go, oh no, it wasn't photos. If I go to videos even, I can see the video on there again that I transferred from my other iPad. And I can choose whether I want to copy it to my camera roll or documents of my internal storage. Or I have an option here to share it if I want to share the movie maybe on WhatsApp or something. Which I'm not going to because of it being such a long video. I do have an album on my phone here um, called HGV. And here you can see there's the different videos and stuff from my vlogs and pictures and stuff. But if I wanted to copy them directly from the Photos app on the iPhone, then I can click on Share here and then I can go to New Flash there and then copy them straight in like that. You can see there that they're going to transfer nicely onto the flash drive via the app. And that was directly from the Photos app, so it's convenient. As you can see there, I was just trying to go back, but I can't go back while these are transferring. I can, however, exit the app, though, and go elsewhere. Now, when I film my videos on my phone and iPad, I usually just use Apple's AirDrop to send the files to and from my phone to my Mac. But if I had a Windows PC, then obviously there isn't any AirDrop or any feature like that that I'm aware of that I could get the videos and things from my phone or my iPad to my laptop because I do my editing on my Mac. So I could see this product being very, very useful if you're trying to transfer files from Apple devices to Windows devices and maybe vice versa because it's so easy and you don't get that issue of the Wi-Fi being down as well. Like if your Wi-Fi or your Bluetooth isn't working, then you can't transfer the files using AirDrop, but you can with this. We can see now that they're all completed. You can see if I go back here that the picture has gone in the photo section, but then the other ones have gone in the files section. Not that that matters to me. I'm not bothered. But you can have an option as well of actually taking a photo directly um, using the USB stick so it saves directly on here. So if you wanted to perhaps film a long video or something, um, then you could film it so it saves straight to the USB stick, which is very very useful you can do that with video as well you can do that with video as well by changing it there at the top and you can film a video that saves straight to the actual um, USB device there's no option on here that I can see to eject the USB stick I think that you just pull it out that's what I did earlier Job done. Now, if we put these onto the Mac, I've now plugged the USB stick into the Mac and we can see here that we've got everything I've copied. I've got a folder here called camera. Oh, I can see. Oh, this is the one where it's saved directly. Yeah, so when you, when you film or take a picture directly to save it on the USB stick, then it makes a little folder for you. The ones that you copy you've got here. So that's pretty cool. All in all then, um, I would say it's a very useful product. Uh, if you're transferring files to and from your phone to your laptop and you don't have that kind of airdrop or whatever kind of system to get them from one to the other, then it's really cool. It's also really cool to um, back up. Like my other iPad doesn't have much internal storage, so I would be able to copy all of the photos to this but I can still access them on the iPad via their app, the new Flash app. So it is very useful for that if you have a device that's always saying low storage 
then it's perfect for that. This one is the 64 gigabyte version, but I am aware that there are, is also a 32 gigabyte version and a 128 gigabyte version. So there's plenty of space there to put your things on. Again, like I say, the quality is good. I think it would have been nice to have had a cover on both sides, but that's just me being picky. But yeah, it's very good quality. You can put your key ring on there as well. I'm going to put a link to this product in the description uh, for you to check it out. And I also want to say a big thank you to Z Moon who sent me this product to review. Um, so thank you, Z Moon. There you go. Um, yeah, hopefully, oops. Hopefully that's been um, a good review for you. I do recommend it, this product, if you're transferring files to and from your devices. Uh, however, do be careful with the compatibility because we can see there on my iPad Pro, it didn't work. It just wasn't working. I'm going to query that though. So just, just make sure that you ask first. All right then, I am going to leave this video here. Go and check out this USB stick if that's something that you might be interested in from Z Moon. Big thank you again for sending it to me to review. Um, I hope that I can review many more things on my channel. Um, I might get better at doing them too, who knows. Uh, but otherwise, if you want to give this video a thumbs up, then you can. And if you want to stay tuned with me, then you can subscribe. Otherwise, I will catch you in the next one.